everybody, by the end of this lesson, your robot should be able to go through that whole course. So today we're going to be programming how to move your MBOT. So first what we're going to do is we're going to go to the coding platform, uh, ide.mblock.cc. I have it open here, so I'm just going to go there, but you could type that in if you need to. Now what you're going to do, you're going to plug your MBOT into the Chromebook with a USB and make sure it is turned on, so do that. Once it's connected, make sure that it is connected to the software. So I'm going to drag this and I'm going to hit connect and then you're going to connect it to the USB. Okay. okay, that being said, you should be already be logged in so you should have all the extensions added on. But if you didn't do the extensions for any reason, click the extension button and then add the MBOT 2 shield, the ultrasonic sensor and the pocket shield. So just click add for those things. Okay, I already did it so I'm just going back. And you guys should have already done it because you're logged in. But now that you have this MBOT as, you, as you're dragging down, you should see something called MBOT. Once you click on that, this will help you move your MBOT. So for example, if I click uh, move forward at 50 revolutions per minute, and I'm now in live mode, once I click on this, it should move forward. So I'm gonna click on it. And we can see the wheel spinning and it's trying to move forward. It's gonna keep on doing this because our code doesn't say to stop or anything like that. So I'm just gonna turn this off and turn it back on. So we don't want it to go forever. Well, maybe we do, but we if but there's another code block that says move forward 50 RPM for one second. So if I click on this, it'll just do that for one second. I could change 50 RPM, make it faster. So let me do I'll do 75 for two seconds, and now it should go faster and longer when I click on this. Okay, two seconds. And then there's other things that I can do to move it or uh, move it around. I'm gonna, I could say turn left, or I click this and say turn right, 90 degrees. And then let's say I'm gonna move forward and I'll change this to, not inches, about 25 seconds. So now when I click on this, it should move forward for two seconds, turn right, and then move forward again. So I'll just show, moving forward, turning right, and then moving forward again for 25 seconds, okay? The last thing now is, this is in live mode, but we want to be able to do this when it's not connected. So how we're going to do that is, we're going to give it a certain time to operate. I'm going to click on, oh, not operate, control. Oh, not control, events. Click on events here. Oops, let me make this a little smaller. So when I click on events, now it says, when button A is pressed, whoops. When button A is pressed, it'll do all these things. So if you look on your MBOT, button A is going to be right there. So when I click on that button, it should do all these things. So I'm going to click on that button. And then, now it's going forward, turning right, and going forward. Now I'm going to program this robot to do that. So I'm going to go to upload mode. So I'm going to click upload. And I'm going to upload this robot to know this code. Click upload. Uh, and then it's going to upload. Now I can disconnect this and it should do what I just programmed it to do. But let's let's see how that's going to work. Okay, maybe I'll just show it like this. And now when I press A here, it should do what we programmed it. So A goes forward, turns right, goes forward. All right. All right. Now program your robot so it could go through that course and then you're done. All right. Nice watching.